Good evening everyone, Ads here from Unity Trading Group. Welcome to your Wednesday night update. And not a whole lot has happened since yesterday, to be completely honest with you, on the BTC front. Uh, but uh, we'll go through it anyway. As always, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you like what you see, share it with anyone who you think will benefit from this information and benefit from these updates and of course, uh, our Discord links and our trading view links are all down below for you to share and use, of course. So get straight into it tonight. We'll keep it nice and short and sweet. BTC, not a whole lot moving, uh, you know, after our uh, after our update last night. Uh, realistically, we haven't done anything at all. We were really sitting above this 23.6 previously uh, in our update last night or in our live session last night. And uh, we are still doing the same. So we are still decreasing in the, in, the, in the volume sense of things. And we are waiting for a movement to either side of this sort of formation that we're uh, really finding ourselves in now. Very similar to what we found with Ethereum also. And I don't like that upper trend line, but we'll have it in there just in, just in case. Or uh, we'll have it in there anyway. But um, look, if we need to... If we... I'll rephrase that. If we're gonna see BTC end back up at 15,750 where we rejected off the last previous times, the first one at 16, the second one at uh, 15,750, uh, if we're gonna see this movement, we need some more volume to come into this market and we need to make some uh, make, make some higher highs in the smaller time frame structure that we see in this area here. Not a whole lot's been happening over the course of the last 24 hours when we updated you guys last. So again, we're still waiting for this movement to either direction. We're not making high highs and we're not making lower lows. So we're not in a clear trend on which direction we're going to move in. Are we gonna to move to the upside at 15,750 or are we gonna to move to the downside, you know, roughly at our 61 or even uh, more notably our demand level at 13,750. So uh, about a $2,000 swing back down to, well, $1,500 swing back down to our level of demand that's most relevant and not far away, only about 350 bucks away from our most relevant level of supply and of course, the daily level at 16,250. So uh, there's some upside potential, of course. We have had this run uh, for quite some time now and uh, moving to the upside is quite, uh, looking, is looking okay. The momentum has been really good for BTC over, as of late, as of course you can see the natural increase in the volume down below with our uh, volume indicator there. So. Um, yeah, like I said, it has been good. However, you know, in the grand scheme of things, BTC needs a correction. We all know this. TA says this, so I'm not going to harp on about it every every single night. But um, if we're going to see this movement, whoops, if we're going to see this movement head back up to this level, we need some more volume, and uh, and of course, we need some more price action and structure to be moving in that direction. And of course, retesting this very very short term level of uh, old trend line that we've got there, and we are getting somewhat squeezed into a corner. Are we going to make the same sort of moves as ETH is to the upside when we had this formation play out last night? Or are we going to break down below and retest this further trend line that we've got running? And it's quite steep, to be honest with you. Unsustainable uh, macro scale trend. As we, we already know, we don't need to go, in, go further into that. The macro scale trend is quite steep. It is quite sharp, as you can see there. So... So uh, movements like this are quite unsustainable for long periods of time. So macro scale of things does need a bit of a cool off. However, we're gonna see where we end up. If you guys think we're going up, going down, leave a comment. Leave a comment down below and, uh, and let us know what you think. And of course, you can do that as well as uh, here, as in the Discord, also with our links below in the description. So without further ado, we'll move on to Ethereum USD. Ethereum USD. Now, this is the play that we got from our, uh, you know, our uh, our wedge last night. We were moving in this triangle formation, getting squeezed into a corner, and bang, we moved straight up and out of this level and pushed through that level of supply. So, what are we seeing next for Ethereum? Well, if we can come back down here and retest this level of 450, we could possibly see that 470 to 473 supply on the cards for the next little bit. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for these levels here to be respected. So we are we are moving towards that level at the moment. So 450, I'm looking to be respected in the very short term, okay, for a bounce, and then a bounce back up to this 470, 
and uh, or r- roughly 473 area of supply, which is going to be that overall target, that magnetic zone that we always refer to. Uh, that's the level I'm looking for in the grand scheme of things on the higher time frame, on the higher scale of things, obviously a daily level there at 470, but uh, in the interim, looking for this 450 to be respected. The last one I'll look at tonight, keeping it nice, short and sweet for our, uh, our Wednesday night update is the DXY, of course, not financial advice. This is the ideas and opinions of Team UTG. The DXY, as expected, has been moving towards the upside very, very gently, I will say gently, uh, over the last little bit. We have had some area of indecision here over the last day or so, and uh, that's really rolled on into the Tuesday night session and not real any direction moving from there. We did hold, however, this level here. We do have a couple of levels that we were looking at. So we're looking at 92.48, 92.60. This is why, this is why I don't use uh, support and resistance because uh, we chose this level here, well knowing that there's a level of support there. And of course we use the one above it uh, and there is a some resistance turn support there as well. So uh, the fundamental problem of support and resistance, it is objective. One person can draw it differently to me and you know, Ty or, or, or some person in the Discord can draw it differently to Ty. So it really comes down to uh, an objective type thing with support and resistance, whereas supply and demand, there is no objectivity. It really just makes sense in the way of you can only draw it one way. There is only one way to identify a, supp- a supply or a demand on any given time frame. So with that said, we are moving up and above this 61.8, this seven, uh, 92.87 level there or 92.88 and if we do keep this trajectory over the course of this evening uh, 93.24 is the immediate level above us that I'd be looking for however I'm waiting for a break and a close of this 61.8 for now because we have attempted to move through it in the past uh, in the immediate past and that we have not made any grounds above this level as of yet so keeping keeping a bit conservative and waiting for that uh, that close to give us confirmation that we are going to move up and continue through this as there is quite a, a decent amount of liquidity sitting to the left along this 61.8. With all that said, thank you for joining me tonight. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All of our links can be found in the description below. And uh, of course, uh, thank you all for everyone who has subscribed already. Share the video, share UTG if you think anybody uh, you, anybody, if you think anybody out there will benefit from the information that we give uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow night catch you then